Organizing and outlining your speech is key to your success in public speaking. Let's take a look at a few ways in which you can do this. Your introduction sets the tone for the rest of your speech. Therefore, it is important for you to gain your audience attention and maintain it. Also, relate your topic to your audience so they feel a connection to it. Relate yourself to your topic so your audience can see that this actually means something to you. Also, preview your message to inform your audience of what's coming and preview your presentation's organization. Gaining and maintaining your audience's attention throughout your speech often proves to be a difficult task, but here are a few ideas. Invite your audience to participate in your speech. Get them involved. Use audio and video to play onto people's different learning styles and keep them interested. Use humor or tell a story to make yourself more likable. And by using surprising facts, figures, or statistics, you can get your audience to pay a little more attention and be more interested in your speech. Relate your topic to your audience so they can build more of a connection and more of an interest in what you're speaking about. Also, relate yourself to your topic. This is really important so your audience can see that you yourself have a connection to it as well. Dress appropriately for the occasion so you can improve your credibility, and self-disclosure goes a long way. You should always inform your audience of your message and the organization your speech will follow. Your thesis statement should perform both of these functions. Go ahead and press pause to read the example on the slide. The body of your speech should identify its main points as well as determine the order they will follow and should also incorporate materials that will support the points that you're making. Your body of your speech should have in between two to three main points so that it's easy for your audience to follow along. The wording for each main point should be similar and each main point should also be nearly equal in importance to give your speech some balance. You should determine a way to order your main points in a way that works best for your particular speech. Take a look at the video covering patterns of organization to learn more about this. Also, don't forget to incorporate those supporting materials. A successful conclusion should include the following three functions. The break light function lets your audience know your speech is coming to a close. The instant replay function reminds your audience of your thesis and the action ending function lets your audience know what response you'd like from them. Go ahead and press pause to read the example. You can choose one of three ways to outline your speech. Subordination, as shown in the picture in the slide, can be very similar to your class notes. Division makes sure that each main point has at least two subpoints, and parallelism wants to make sure that your outline follows the same form, much like in your full sentence outlines or your keyword outlines. There are three types of outlines. The preparation outline is when you're simply jotting down your rough ideas. The formal sentence outline is in complete sentence form, which you will turn in as your rough and final draft to your instructor. The keyword outline uses keywords, which will help you when presenting your speech.